Greetings. My name is Naveen Thadani. I run the products group in Ravello. And I have Gil Hoffer, who is my colleague. He runs all of engineering uh, based in Israel. And I have Shruti, who runs marketing for us. Uh, she's based with me in Palo Alto. So we have two offices, one in Israel, one in Palo Alto. Our engineering is done in Israel. And all our product operations are run out of uh, Palo Alto. Okay, So I'm going to kick this off. We've divided our session today into three sections, or three sub-sessions, if you will. The first one is, uh, I'll, I'll talk a little bit about Ravello. I'll give you an overview, sort of where we come from, what we're trying to do. I'll cover some of the core use cases. And we're also going to do a demo in that section, a live demo of our product. Um, in under the context of one of the use cases that we think is, is pretty interesting. After that, I'm going to turn it over to Gil, who's going to take us through uh, Ravello's technology in a lot more detail. So we talk about nested virtualization, networking, as well as storage, and how all of that comes together to conceptually give you this infrastructure replication in the public cloud. So an ability for you to uh, replicate a data center infrastructure in the public cloud. We talk about that. And then after that, it's uh, <clears throat> in, in Ravello's context, um, a use case, a very pointed use case around also being able to run hypervisors in the cloud. Since this is virtualization field day, we thought that would be interesting. And that's when we'll talk about how you can run everything from KVM and OpenStack uh, labs in the cloud to, of course, even uh, VMware, vSphere deployments and ESXi. Uh, labs as, you know, sort of lab environments. So we'll talk about that and uh, wrap it up from there. Okay? So let's get started with uh, the first session, which is the uh, overview and demo. So I'll start by telling you a little bit about Ravello. We, um, the story actually for Ravello and our, where we come from goes back a, a, about a decade and a half, we think. Uh, where we started, all of us were at Cisco together. In fact, uh, my partners, uh, Benny Schneider and Rami Thamir, had actually sold a couple of companies to Cisco. One of them was uh, Pentacom, where uh, they were doing a lot of layer two networking. This is actually an alternative to Ethernet. It was DPT. We're trying to do uh, 50 millisecond failover uh, in, the, in a regional network. So it was kind of interesting. Uh, they, they joined Cisco after they got acquired there. I joined Cisco separately. We met there. In, 2000 and, uh, in 2005, we left Cisco to start uh, Kumranet. That's where we developed uh, the KVM hypervisor. And we, were, we spent some time in the virtualization space. Red Hat acquired us in 2008. And then we were there for a little while to help Red Hat get some of the virtualization stuff going there. Saw a little bit of the early OpenStack activity at that time. And uh, in 2011, we left uh, Red Hat to, uh, to start Ravello. And at Ravello, what we're trying to do, and the reason I'm giving you a little bit of this background is that the, the DNA of the team is really around infrastructure software with some networking, some virtualization, and some storage. And we're sort of trying to take that and put it together to solve a, a problem that we think faces the industry in a, in a different way than you know, how some others are trying to solve it. So that's, uh, that's a little bit about Ravello in a nutshell. And uh, we're, you know, we're, as I said, we started in 2011. So it's been about four years that we've been doing what we've been doing. And we're funded by uh, Sequoia Capital, uh, Bessemer Venture Partners, as well as Norwest Venture Partners. So that's where we stand from a, from a company perspective. We've uh, raised uh, three rounds, uh, Series C funding, and uh, a total capital base of about 54 million so far. So we feel like we've got you know, a good base upon which we want to build, and we're trying to do some things differently in the industry. So uh, it's exciting times for us. So I'll, I'll start with the, the meta-level problem statement that we're, that we're trying to address. You know, as, as all of you know, uh, the data center is a very different animal than the, the public cloud. Enterprises for the last you know, two decades have been building out infrastructure, enterprise grade, rock solid infrastructure in their data centers. And they've been building applications that have been tuned to that data center. So you, you spend a good amount of money for EMC hardware, NetApp, you know, HP servers, Cisco networking and servers, VMware infrastructure, 
potentially even Hyper-V and KVM, uh, but a lot of VMware out there as well. So that's what the enterprise data center is. And applications like a SharePoint cluster or an Oracle environment or even a custom e-commerce application, Java, .NET, what have you, is tuned to run on that infrastructure. It, the application makes certain assumptions that it gets certain services from the infrastructure in a certain way. Now, in 2008, 2009, whenever it was that Amazon started with AWS, and we started seeing the emergence of the public cloud as a, as a very interesting alternative to a compute infrastructure, you know, it, it was really great because it gives everybody a lot of different options. But when you look under the covers and you see what the public cloud is, it's actually a bunch of commodity infrastructure. That's how it's designed. And when enterprises build applications for the public cloud, you got to do a lot of different things differently in order to make it work properly. So it's a different set of processes, tools, methodologies, best practices with which you need to build your applications, and the two are not the same. So an enterprise cannot just take an application environment, a complex application environment that runs in their data center and simply run that in the public cloud for whatever reason. That isn't possible. There's a long and arduous, often arduous, uh, migration process that's involved. So we think that this problem can be solved in a different way uh, with a different set of technologies, at least for a good number of use cases, if not all, clearly. But for a good number of use cases, we think that a combination of nested virtualization technology along with an overlay network and overlay storage so basically, an infrastructure layer can be placed on top of the public cloud to make the public cloud look and feel like the enterprise data center from the application's perspective. So if you look at an application like, a, like we talked about earlier, you know, a, a multi-VM SharePoint farm or an Oracle, complex Oracle deployment or an e-commerce application or whatever, if you look at the infrastructure from that application's perspective and you look down and you're running on an enterprise data center today, you would be able to run in exactly the same way in the public cloud if the public cloud looked and felt like the enterprise data center. And we think that the combination of these three technologies that we talked about, which is nested virtualization, networking, and storage, can actually help us get there. So that's really the, the problem that Ravello is trying to solve. And essentially, we want to enable enterprises to not have to worry about a particular application environment. The fact that it was built to run in the enterprise data center should not preclude it from benefiting from cloud economics. So in other words, if you need uh, you know, an environment uh, for a few hours or a few days or a few weeks or months or whatever, you should simply be able to take that environment, spin it up in the public cloud, and tear it down when you're done. It's kind of the same way that when you, you know, when you have a, you know, if you, if you live in San Francisco and you travel to Boston for work, you don't need to buy a car in Boston. You don't need to do any of that. You simply want to rent it. And you want to rent it for the two days that you're traveling, and then you want to just give it away. So it's exactly the same way. It, it should be that simple. And we think that this combination of technologies can help us get there, or get at least very close. So let's dive into a, a little bit more specifics in the context of, of, of this, uh, this technology we're talking about. So if you look on the screen here, you'll see that you know, this is what most enterprises have, uh, uh, you know, complex application environments. You've got a bunch of web servers, a bunch of different app servers, databases, database caches. You've got layer two and layer three networking appliances. It could be you know, load balancers, firewalls, routers, sometimes even switches that do very specific functionality. And this is what we call an application environment. And as all of you have seen in many enterprises, uh, you know, uh, that happens on a regular basis, you, you have a production environment that's running, and you've got many different pre-production environments, okay? So you've got development, QA, <laughs> staging, UAT, uh, upgrade testing, certification. Often you need different environments that look exactly like this. So our whole first use case, and what Ravello is focused on as a company right now, is to be able to take those pre-production environments that you have for 
this particular production <laughs> environment, encapsulate them in this technology we talked about, the combination of the three things we talked about, and run that in Amazon or Google today, potentially any cloud in the future, and, uh, and just without any changes, just run it there. So you click one button, you should be able to spin up a whole environment, use it for as long as you need it, and then shut it down when you're done. 